friends, this is Shroham Bera, Consultant Optometrist from India. Today I am going to share with you subject, this is called retinocysis. And this is a subject we professional become very confused to distinguish who is retinocysis patient and who is retina detachment patient. So there is a lot of confusion regarding us also. So friends, if any people suffering from retinocysis in your family or in your friend circle, please listen it carefully. And if any professional who is seeing my video, please listen it also carefully. Let's start it with. Retinocysis is an eye condition that involves part of your retina splitting into two layers. Your retina is the tissue in the back of your eye that sends visual signals to your brain. When your retina splits due to retinocysis, it can affect your vision. There are two types of retinocysis mainly. One is acquired retinocysis, sometimes called degenerative retinocysis, is often caused by aging or X-linked retinocysis, sometimes called juvenile retinocysis, is a genetic condition that mostly affects men. So now come to the point, what are the symptoms of retinocysis? In the early stage, retinocysis usually doesn't cause any symptoms. However, if you have an eye exam done, your eye specialist might notice the split in your retina over time. Retinocysis may start to affect your vision, retrocysis doesn't cause total blindness, but it can lead to serious vision problem, especially if you have X-linked retrocysis. Both degenerative and X-linked retinocysis usually sh show up during a routine eye exam. Next, your eye specialist may use an electroretinogram to test the nerve tissue function in your retina. This is done, done by placing contact lens containing an electrode in your eye. The electrode measures the electric activity of your retina when it is exposed to the light, <clears throat> which gives you, uh, your eye specialist, a better sense of how well it is functioning. This test is done typically when you are awake. However, some children especially, those between age of 2 to 5, may need general anesthesia to complete this test. Another test for retinocysis is that your eye specialist may perform in optical coherence tomography. The instrument uses light waves to take cross-section picture of your eye. This can help your eye specialist assess the layer of your retina to see if the retina is split. What causes degenerative retinocysis? The exact cause of degenerative retinocysis is not known. However, it seems to be related to the natural aging process and affect both men and women. It's usually diagnosed in people between the age of 50 to 80. Now, now the most crucial point, what caused X-linked retinocysis? X-linked retinocysis is caused by a problem in the X chromosome making it a genetic condition. It almost always occurs in young males because the only because the male have only one X chromosome, whereas female have two X chromosomes. So if there is a problem with one of them, the other one usually counteracts it. While female doesn't usually have X-linked retinocysis, they can be carrier of the condition and can pass it to any male children. How is retinocysis treated? Retinocysis usually doesn't require treatment aside from glasses to improve your vision. However, some children with X-linked retinocysis may have bleeding in their eye. This can be treated with either laser therapy or cryotherapy. In rare cases, children may need surgery to stop the bleeding. If you have either form of retinocysis, 
make sure to follow up with a regular examination exam to monitor the progression of retrocesis so you can avoid any type of severe complication. Now, what are the complications? Both degenerative extreme retinocytes may cause retinal detachment. The outer layer of the retina is anchored to the wall of your eye. If this anchor is damaged, your retina may detach. While this can happen to anyone, it's more common in people with retinocytes. Retinal detachment is easy to treat when caught early, which is more reason why importance why it's important to have an regular exam, especially if you have or you or any family member have this type of retinocytes history. So friends, <clears throat> if you do not know what is retinal detachment and if you can understand what is this, actually we have already a video regarding retinal detachment. Please go to our channel and scroll down and you and there you can find a uh, video regarding retinal detachment, please go through it. Living with retinocytes. For most people, retinocytes isn't a serious condition. Eventually, you may need glasses to correct any vision problem caused by your split retina. While the condition itself is often harmless, both degenerative and excellent retinocytes increase your risk of retinal detachment. Make sure to regular have your eye exam by an eye specialist, an ophthalmologist or optometrist to check for any changes in your vision or any complications. So friends, this is all about retinocytes. If any updated news I can gather from anywhere, I will convey you. So people, so friends, if you like my video, please like us, share us and subscribe us. Please stay safe, stay healthy. Bye. Sabakhai. Good night.